operations center was its altitude. Uh, basically, even though your your uh, operations center is not any higher than any of the other buildings in the area, you still are at a high point. And uh, um, given the fact that I was talking about the Fresnel zone, um, the, the football would be able to fit in between the two sites. Very amazed, surprised on um, the distance on just handheld radios here. It's freaking awesome. I mean, uh, it may turn out to be that you guys could get a little stick antenna like what you're holding right now, put it on your chimney, and no one will feel wiser. I think that would be very well possible, especially if there's some kind of a major disaster or, or some kind of other natural event that uh, communication is necessary. One of the projects that I'm working on is a repeater system so that it can even go twice as far. That will be uh, Pretty great. I mean, awesome to have that uh, repeater working as well. Okay, I'm now making a left hand turn on Ina. Even without testing the other antenna, this is still pretty amazing. Just what we, uh, the, the small functions that we've done now with the great distance. I mean, you know, it's not so much that, you know, mathematically this shouldn't have worked. It's the band. The band itself is a, is a, is a publicly shared band. Uh, industrial Science and uh, Manufacturing is what it's called, ISM band. And there's a few of those bands, uh, you know, across the, the network that the public has allowed access to. So, you know, what else could be using this is all kinds of things, that, you know, to transmit or other types of voice. The distance you're the distance so far you're you're you've gotta be approaching ten miles or more now. Copy that. We've looked. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go incognito for a second um, because I don't want a lot of people looking at me on this intersection with my hand out the window. So give me a minute. So is the over by CDO? 
He's on Oracle. Where's that? He's just getting past Ina and Oracle. <laughs> 